one part of this global story took place here in Sierra Leone. In 1807, 31 years before the abolition of slavery, Britain abandoned the Atlantic slave trade. The history class these kids are having is telling the story of how some of their ancestors ended up here in Freetown, Sierra Leone. So it's a really important part of their national history, but it's also part of British history because many of their ancestors were brought here in the 19th century by the Royal Navy in what's got to be one of the most remarkable and the most forgotten chapters in all of British history. When Britain abolished its own slave trade, the other European powers didn't follow their example. In 1808, the Royal Navy created a special force to suppress the slave trade, the West Africa Squadron. For the whole of the 18th century, the Royal Navy was here in the waters off West Africa to defend the slave trade, to protect British slave ships from the attentions of enemy powers. In the 19th century, and in what has to be one of the most bizarre transitions in all of history, their job was to hunt down, to intercept slave ships, and to free the Africans they found on board. The West Africa Squadron was under-resourced and plagued by corruption. It managed to intercept only around 6% of the slave ships heading across the Atlantic. But between 1808 and the 1860s, over 150,000 men, women and children were liberated. There's no guarantee that all these people went on to live free lives. We know that some were forced into the army, others were kidnapped and sold back into slavery, but some settled in Freetown. The former slaves were known as the re-captives, and they were brought here to the King's Yard to be counted and have their names recorded. This gate is very significant because the moment you step out of this gate, you become a free man. Slavery, as we all know, may have lasted for a few centuries, but freedom lasts forever. Britain's global crusade against the slave trade was anything but perfect. And yet, if you were one of those slaves on a slave ship, captured by the Royal Navy, intercepted at sea, and you had the shackles broken off your wrists and your feet, and you were landed here in Freetown, Sierra Leone, as a free person, then what had happened, and what happened here afterwards, was nothing short of a miracle. 